place, Jerusalem. The time, back then. Who were involved? Them. And while they were still talking about these things, Jesus himself stood among them and said, Peace be to you all. But they shrank back in terror, for they thought they were seeing a ghost. Why are you so worried, said Jesus, and why do doubts arise in your minds? Look at my hands and feet. It is really I myself. Feel me and see. Ghosts have no flesh or bones as you can see that I have. But while they still could not believe it through sheer joy and were quite bewildered, Jesus said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and a part of a honeycomb which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he said, Here and now are fulfilled the words that I told you when I was with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must come true. Then he opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures and added, That is how it is, was written. And that is why it was inevitable that Christ should suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. So must the change of heart, which leads to the forgiveness of sins, be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are eyewitnesses of these things. Now I hand over to you the command of my Father. Stay in the city then until you are clothed with power from on high.